couple transaction news uh, bits this morning. Um, we're, we've informed uh, G-Man Choi and Mark Vientos uh, that they will not make the team. Um, Mark Vientos was optioned to AAA. We have informed Brett Beatty and Zach Short that they will be on the team on the on the opening day roster. Um, decisions this this time of year are always tough. You you have tough decisions at the end of every camp. Um, we have some players who, who are receiving good news um, this time of year and, and some players who, who aren't receiving good news this time of year. And I try to remind players, regardless of what side um, of the line they are on right now, we're setting a roster for one day. Um, and rosters change rapidly over the course of the season. We expect a lot of players, uh, including potentially the ones that we're giving bad news to right now, um, to really impact us and help us over the course of the year. Um, it can be tough sometimes to internalize that for players at this moment, uh, but it's the truth and, and we see it every year. Um, but we're beginning to, to get down to it and, and clearly we have to make tough decisions at this point. Why did you decide what you decided on Viento specifically? Yeah, I, I think as we looked at our roster construction, um, looked at some of the matchups earlier in the season, um, we just thought this made the, the, the right sense um, both for him from a playing time perspective uh, and, and for our team at the major league level. And who do you expect to be until Martinez is ready to be your everyday DH or your primary DH? Yeah, I, th I think I think we're still um, working through that. We're not going to set our roster um, likely until Wednesday uh, on either side, position player side or um, uh, or pitching side. Um, we've we've clearly still got candidates in camp uh, to to do that. Um, and so when we get to Wednesday, um, we'll we'll have a better answer for that. You have one bench spot slash position player spot left to fill, correct? Yes. And who besides DJ Stewart is up for that? So he, he's the only player currently in camp. Um, we, uh, we also like to remain some fle have some flexibility at this time of year um, as we get closer to opening day um, to, to see what happens. So you, you might add somebody from outside the organization is what you're saying? I, I think or, there's, you're, you're just leaving there, there's yeah, there's always that possibility, right? There, there's a lot of player transaction, player volume that happens in the days leading up to opening day. Um, we we want to be cognizant of that. And as I've said before and will continue to say, um, you know, we're always going to try to improve our organization, our roster, whether that's over the next three days or the six months that follow. Um, so it makes sense for us to remain uh, a little bit flexible. What do you like about uh, Zach Short, and what kind of role can you see him playing? So I think for, for that role, as we get down to those sort of 25th, 26th man type roles, that versatility is really important. Um, he can fill a number of different spots on our team. He's played all over the place. Um, that that right-handed complement we thought was a nice fit um, on our team. He, he's proven um, that he's a very, very good defender at multiple positions. He's proven that over his career, and we've seen that this spring. And then I also think he's working through some um, swing adjustments that, uh, that frankly, have looked pretty good so far um, and, uh, and, and have given him um, a little bit of a different approach and perspective at the plate. One more on Vientos. I think a lot of people would look at him and say, okay, this is a guy who has very little, if anything, left to prove in the minors. Um, are there things he can get out of that assignment? Yes. Yeah, what, what, what specifically? So d defensively, um, you know, there, there is still growth. Um, certainly he knows that. He's worked incredibly hard defensively and deserves a lot of credit for that. And he's a better defender right now than he was last year. Um, and, uh, and I think with continued regular reps at third base, he will continue um, to grow there. Um, and, then, and then offensively, um, there are some adjustments he can continue to make. Um, some of that can, can happen at AAA. Um, and, and some of that's going to have to happen in the big leagues when he, when he gets the chance. Why was now the right time to add Martinez, and just how did that come together? Yeah, I, I think J.D., the impact that he can provide from an offensive standpoint to a club uh, is clear. We, we've been in contact uh, with Scott really throughout the offseason on a variety of his players, um, including J.D., and it just gained some momentum and materialized over the course of spring training, and, and ultimately we're very pleased to be able to get it done this week. How did Vientos take the news? He's frustrated, um, but he's a professional. And, and so I, I think he certainly would have preferred if he had gotten the other news um, and, and stayed on the major league club. Um, I, I would expect frustration. Um, and 
Uh, and now his challenge is to turn that into motivation to do everything he can to get back, and I think he will do that. Any updates on Kodai Senga? Uh, so he, he remains on path to um, initiate his throwing program this week. I don't have a specific day when that's going to occur, um, but I would expect him to initiate the throwing program this week. Uh, Steve talked uh, a couple weeks back about how last year the team gave up maybe four outs in inning at times. You talked a lot about the defense. Just kind of curious about third base in particular. That was an area where the defensive numbers went down a bit from last year. How do you feel about that with Brett Beatty there? Plus, did that factor into the decision-making process at all with adding Short and having Wendell there as well? Yeah, that's part of it. And I think Brett, uh, Brett has taken steps forward defensively. Um, I, I think he he had really one rough moment here um, recently defensively, but otherwise has played a very, very solid third base throughout spring, and I would expect that um, to continue. He, he's not going to be perfect over there. Um, we told him he's not going to be perfect over there, and that's that's fine. Um, and then when when we're not perfect over there, it's let's move on to the next play um, and, and, and be fine over there. But, uh, you know, having Zach and Joey on the roster – um, as defensive-oriented players helps us in a variety of places.